Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill Ostomy Care. My supplies for this video is skin prep, pair of gloves, trash bag, two washcloths to clean, and then my new platelet and ostomy bag and a measuring device. I will gather my supplies and go to my patient's room, knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy, and set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Hand hygiene. Hi, Ms. Smith. My name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth as I verify with their wristband? All right, Ms. Smith, that's correct. Well, as I said, my name is Emily. I'm here um, because it's time to change out your classroom bag, okay? Is that okay? All right, awesome. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my gloves on. I'm going to remove your colostomy bag. I'm going to go empty the contents and um, inspect that, make sure everything's okay. Then I'm going to remove the platelet that's attached to your skin there. Um, then I'm going to get my rags here and clean your stoma, check the skin, make sure everything looks good. We'll put some skin barrier on, and then I'm going to attach your new plate and bag, okay? okay. Do you have any questions for me? Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All right. I brought myself a bag here. I'm going to put an end of your bed, so just ignore that. All right. So first, I'm going to take off your colostomy bag here. You doing okay? All right. Good. There you go. Always got to be careful when removing that. After removing the bag, I will go to the restroom or wherever the designated area is. I will unroll this end here and empty the contents. If it is liquid stool, I will use a measuring cup device or a hat in the toilet to um, measure how much uh, liquid. If it is solid stool, I would just you know dispose of that in the toilet. But I do need to, either way, I need to inspect the stool. I want to look for things like blood any mucus because we want it just to be stool. Um, I need to check the color, if there's any strange odor, and again, how much of it is, and if it's formed, what kind of consistency the stool is. So after disposing of that, I will then dispose this in my trash bag here. Obviously, I only got sent one in the box, so I disposed of it. But I'm going to pull this back out for when I apply her new one. All right, Miss Smith, I'm going to move the plate on your skin here, okay? Please let me know if you experience any pain or anything, okay? All right. Gently starting at the outside. I want to move upward and then peel slowly away from the stoma. Awesome. All right, you okay? Okay. Same thing. I would typically dispose of this in my trash, but I only have one, so I'm going to save it. All right. I'm going to just take a look at your stoma, okay? When assessing a stoma, we want to look at the skin just to make sure there's no breakdown or blisters. And then we want to look at the stoma. It, the color needs to be um, pink and beefy red and then uh, needs to be moist. If we see any signs of ash or blue or if it's super dry, we need to contact the physician immediately. That could mean there's some sort of tissue death, uh, either starting or has already taken place. Everything looks good. I'm going to move on to cleaning it, okay? When cleaning a stoma, warm water and whatever um, solution the doctor has ordered, depending on the patient's needs. All right, Ms. Smith, I have my uh, warm wash rag here that I'm going to clean it with, okay? All right. If the patient has stool directly on the stoma or skin, I will get a new piece and clean it. If I do touch the stoma and it starts to bleed a little bit, that is normal. Dispose of this in the trash. All right, at this point, I'm going to measure it while it dries. Miss Smith, I'm going to uh, measure your stoma, okay? I have pre cut this already. Alright, I'm measuring it at one and three-fourths. When measuring a stoma, we want to ensure that one-eighth of an inch is in between the sizing here on the plate and then between that and the stoma. You want it tight so there's no leakage, but you don't want it too tight to cause any sort of strangulation or irritation. So again, I have measured it at one and three-fourths. So I will come over here, put it to my uh, plate here. 
I will get a pen, draw a circle so that I have it um, written on here. I will cut it out. Obviously, this has already been pre-cut. So yes, I will have it cut out and it is ready to go. I don't need that for the moment. All right, Miss Smith, I'm going to dry your stoma here, okay? Gently pat dry around. All right, everything looks good. I don't see any anything else. Everything looks good. My stoma is dry. Right, I'll put my packing in the trash. At this point, I will use my skin prep. And I'll slowly wipe around the patient's stoma. All right, finished with that. I will ensure that my skin prep is completely dry before putting the plate on the patient's skin. It is dry. All right, Ms. Smith, it's time for me to put the sticky part on your skin, the plate. Um, all right, in the real world, I will obviously remove the backing here, but due to possible remediation and it ruining my supplies, <laughs> I will not take the taping off. All right, Ms. Smith, I'm going to put it on, okay? All right, I'm going to slowly put that down. Press all around the edges, ensuring that it has a good, strong seal. There's no holes. We'll check the edges. It needs to be flush to the skin. After that has been put on, I will then put on my bag carefully, making sure I don't hit the stoma. Make sure it clicks in place all the way around. And it has done so. All right, depending on the patient and what they can do, if they're able to help, they can come put their hand on top. If not, then I can do that. Providing warmth on top of the stoma helps the seal uh, stick a little bit better. Okay, I've held it there for the appropriate amount of time. <clears throat> I will come take a look at it. Make sure that it's properly sealed. I don't see anything. Check this around the side. Obviously, this would normally be stuck. And it looks good. Everything is sealed. I will then make sure the air is out of the bag, come down here at the bottom, close it, just close, okay, I am all finished with that. Ms. Smith, I am all done with your classroom bag, how does that feel, does everything feel comfortable and okay? Good? Okay, awesome. I will remove my gloves, put them in my trash bag here, dispose of this, and my trash. <laughs> All right, I will gather my supplies, or I will put them beside the patient's uh, belongings for next time of use. Okay. All right, Ms. Smith, let me cover you back up, get you in a comfortable position. Are you comfortable? All right, awesome. Hand hygiene. My patient has stated she is comfortable. I have hand hygiene. Um, I am all done with this skill. I will go document my results.